Let's turn it over to Mike Davis, founder and president of Article 3 Project and former Supreme Court Justice Law Clerk. How do you see this case, Mike? Uh, this is clearly a political pr uh, prosecution by Soros-funded Manhattan DA, um, Alvin Bragg. He's, he, he's made it very clear for years he's trying to get Trump. If you look at his penned tweets on Twitter from both the Manhattan DA's office and his personal Twitter, they're going after Trump. Uh, he's he's made it crystal clear he's going to go after Trump. It's politically good for him to go after Trump in New York because you're going to have these liberals in Manhattan uh, giving him a lot of money, and they'll be very happy about this, but it's really going to hurt the Democrat Party across the country. And frankly, it's going to hurt the country. We can't live in a country, uh, this is much bigger than Trump. We can't live in a country where we put our political enemies in prison on trumped-up bogus charges. What will it do to the country if they see images, if it's a mugshot or... If it's handcuffs, what kind of reaction would you predict? Well, I, I hope everyone stays peaceful and do, do, they don't do anything that even looks like they're threatening violence because we saw what happened with January 6th. The Biden Justice Department rounded up every uh, grandma and goofball who was there peacefully. Uh, you know, it's so we have to be peaceful uh, about this, but it's going to backfire on the Democrats politically. You're gonna, we've, we're already seeing it. You're uni the, Trump is unifying the Republican Party behind him. It, this is, if they indict Trump, uh, they're going to the Democrats are going to ensure that Trump gets back to the White House in 2024. And this is all happening in the context of a Republican primary. You saw Governor Ron DeSantis take a question on this today. He hasn't announced yet, but we expect he will. How do you think he's handled this so far? Um, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge Trump fan. I'm a huge DeSantis fan. I think that he, he needs to, DeSantis needs to step up more. This is bigger than Trump. This is bigger than a Republican primary. This is about our country. If we are going to throw political enemies in jail, we're going to become a third world Marxist hell, hellhole very quickly. So, what, do you, what do you think DeSantis should or would say in the future? Uh, I think that he should come out and, like Vice President Pence did, come out and say that this is wrong and that uh, this this is unacceptable in our country. We can't have a banana republic justice system. We can't have a politicized and weaponized justice system, which we do with the Biden Justice Department and these blue states with these these Soros-funded DAs. This is unacceptable. This is this is a recipe for our republic to fall apart if we have a weaponized justice su system like this. Yeah, this is the beginning of the end if this continues. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you.